morning all. Morning. We're having a weekend away. Yeah, a little adventure. Can you guess where we're going? Bet you can. Probably it's on social media by now. So yeah, we're going away to Folkestone for a weekend. Um, I'm reliving my youth. I used to go there with the family when I was really little. Really excited to go back. I know it's nothing like how it was when I was yeah. little. A lot has changed. There's no fun fair, for example, and things like that. But I'm really looking forward to going there and sharing the experience with Dean as well, because Dean's never been. I've never been. Um, I've been to Dover before, many a times on little day trips and stuff. Must have driven past folks and stuff because right next door to it. But I've never actually been to Folkestone, so I'm quite looking forward to going, to be honest. Sun's out, blue sky, away from work. What more do you want? Exactly. Okay. And it's the first time going over the Queen Elizabeth Bridge for quite some time. I can't even remember. Because we've not been to any of the parks for a long time because of Covid. So It's got to be at least what, nearly a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's been a while. So just sit back. Relax. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. There's where we're staying, the Grand Burst Inn. Oh, this is all familiar. In my memories, eh? Yeah. So high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. This is like a social bar. Yeah. And there's a restaurant over the far back. Some vending machines. And the lifts. They only go off to certain floors. We had to use lift number three for floor eight. This is as you come in. Tourist information, coach information, a couple of tables down the end, some machines, and the reception area. The one on the other side is still got bigger. What size of this seat girl? Yeah, mine. Mine, mine. It's the size of Millie. So what are your first thoughts then? It's lovely when the sun's out. Yeah, I was about to say, there's obviously a difference between when it's sunny to when it's chucking down the rain, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's now, it's like the, the setting of the whole... And we found that, oh, just what I was saying, we did find the hotel really, really well, to be honest. The sat nav took us straight there, didn't it? That's yeah. completely going off track, but... Yeah, no, it did, it was. But the whole, because we watched a few vlogs before we come out, and it's funny because you start seeing noticing the town, things, the pubs and the restaurant and chummies. Because I remember chummies on it. Yeah. They're just yeah. Chummies is just and got there. To be honest, when we went for the first bit of the hotel, the reception ladies were really nice. Couldn't be any more helpful. It is you know? very dated, but I think it's dated in a nice it's, way. It is like walking back, isn't it? From yeah, stepping back in time, but definitely. the hotel is clean, the toilets were clean, the reception was clean. And that's all you want. Yep. You know? It's a... Uh, 
And obviously doing up another hotel here on the corner. I think it was called the London Paris yeah. Hotel. So that's been done. I don't know how long that's going to take. But there's the Harbour Inn. I remember the Harbour Inn on the log. Oh, another pub. Oh, yeah. Might have to visit a few. But yeah. Might have to do a bit I, of a pub I really call. love it. It's cool. I've never been here before, so. Uh, I used to walk under here with my family. Fish market. Quite a lot. And you can smell why. It's a shame we haven't got smelly vision. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, there's a shell shop. Oh. All this back. The little house in the middle there. We've got Bob's Supreme Seafood. Yeah, look, they've got crab. There's the Folkestone Mermaid. I don't actually think she was there when we were little. I don't remember her. But um, she's quite a famous sight these days. I think we're going to go down and maybe have a look. Look at that. We used to sit under these little alcoves in the summer. Look, he just can't wait. Look, it's got the feet out. Yeah, they don't come out very often. <laughs> Are we going to go for a paddle? Yeah, silly me, I wore trainers. But I didn't know we were going to... No, it's just spur of the moment thing we Still thought. a couple of days though. Yeah, definitely. There's a bit of a close up of her. so peaceful and it's quiet because it's friday yeah it's friday oh, I put my feet in the sand. <laughs> dean's enjoying the sand between his toes well, we're gonna like when you go to south end is it no south, south end on beach like this, it? Let's no south end on mud well that's the estuary anyway isn't it but this is the sea Dean's like walking so fast. I've never seen him so excited to see the sea, to be fair. It's so strange in the UK to have sand. I know there are parts around the UK that have sand, but where we sort of live, it's mainly um, gravel, so stones and pebbles. But this is beautiful. Exactly how I remember it as a child. I'm guessing it's cold. There we go, it says Folkestone. Is it really cold? Sorry, I was getting cat. Going there, aren't we? Not a <laughs> not a Mind you, babe, you're not a sea swimmer anyway. No, I'm not. I don't mind. I don't mind, but yeah. you're not keen, are you? Uh, I, I like to know where my feet go. Wow, that, that is really cold. Oh, it is like ice. Then I used to swim in this when I was a kid. Oh, for you. This is freezing. I'm gonna have a word with my mum when we go home. I think that's cruelty to children. You reckon? 
let's just take a moment and enjoy of what's around us. Oh, it's beautiful. Away from everything, work, transport, puppies. noise, puppies. As much as we love her. Love her to bits. But oh. just, yeah. Sun on your face. This is crazy. And Freezing now, your, what is this? Freezing your hair. <laughs> An hour and 15 minutes away from home, and this is what you can come to. It's lovely. It's crazy. Anyone to think you could be on holiday? It's well, just, we are. Well, but I mean like a abroad. mini break. Yeah, no, you could be abroad you, at the moment. You know. It's lovely. Absolutely sand on your feet. Oh, I'm sinking, Good. I'm sinking as we speak. Yeah, it's strange, <laughs> isn't it? It's my bit of holiday artwork. Dean's taking the mickey out of my circle. <coughs> of you that are new to our channel this is our logo it stands for house of hornsby and dean's determined to make his circle better than mine oh. it's not as easy as it looks is it mine i oh, will give you that though yours is better than mine that's a lot better than yours all right you put the top but Oh, watch out. Getting taken out by a pigeon as in court. Ding, they're seagulls. Yeah. That's <coughs> the sea air yeah, making that happen. This one's camera shy. Where are you, where are you going? The size of it. I know, they are massive. We used to run through these tunnels as children and it's also a great little sun umbrella when it gets too hot. I'm not actually sure. Or is it just... I think it's like a... I don't know, the tide actually comes all the way up. So then, is there water that comes in from the other side? Unless it comes down from the mountains, it might do. Yeah. yeah. It looks like the water like comes through there somehow, and then yeah, I but that goes maybe. goes all oh. the way along. I didn't even recognise that. Dean's just getting all the sand out of his tootsies. Yeah. Through the years, wearing trainers. Yeah, but we can get in the room soon, so... Although I think maybe we'll have lunch first. Have a nice pint. Oh, someone say pint. We'll go for a walk along the top first, and then make our way down and... Walk that, that way then, walk down there. No, walk that way, because it's easier, and come down the steps the other way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, before this structure was here, they had um, wooden ones. And they used to have big gaps between the planks and me and my mum used to shit ourselves. Much to Dad's pleasure. Where is she? Da -da 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 -da. This looks like Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, doesn't it? Well, just when you look at that bit, you're yeah. not going to follow. This is a different angle of the steps that I showed you a little while ago. So basically, we walk down these, up and down these, about four, five times a day. I'm lucky if I could do that once now. And um, we're taking the easy routes, we're going down, <laughs> but not up. Rather than up, eh? <laughs> Here we go. I thought I was near the end. Clearly not. I think Terry's still way behind me. I think she's been over cautious. A nice 
nice little pub called the Ship Inn along the seafront, and we're just tucking in to some fish and chips. The best they're in town, apparently. Yeah, they're legendary, apparently, so we're going to give them a go. But look at these, this looks lovely. You're never going to eat all that. It's a large amount, I'm not sure if I'm going to, but I'll give it a good Give it go. a good go. I mean, I don't know what time it's now. What's time now? Half past one. Ooh, it looks good though, doesn't it? It does, it looks lovely. Looks can be deceiving. That was beautiful, but we yeah. just literally have not got any room, have we? That was the best fish and chips we've ever had. Yep. And you know what's nice about it? I'll go along with that. Hardly any batter, fish. It was so light. Mm, it was lovely. Yep, definitely any tree. But I can't finish any more. It's definitely true, the best fish and chips in Folkestone. Just finished our food at the ship in and it was amazing. Totally recommend that. 100% if you're in Folkestone, give it a go. Mm, it's lush. Best fish. And look. I've ever tasted. Oh look, what's he doing? The tide is in. Yeah. And the house is floating. Wow. Oh, I wish we had smelly fish and the sea air smells so good. Doesn't it? David Bailey here taking a thousand pictures. <laughs> well, we got the effect of the tide being out. And the effect in. This guy here is trying to row himself out, but I don't know how A row, get. row, row your boat gently down the stream. Gonna get bombarded by seagulls. Lovely flowers in the centre of the roundabout and on the sides, look. Really pretty. We're just going to take a walk up the old high street now and see what's about. Sorry, I was on uh, social media. That's rude. <laughs> How rude, guys. The old high street, there we go. Diagon Alley, as we like to... <laughs> yeah. Are we going to go that way? Or yeah, that no, way? we're going to go this way. Creative Quarter. That's what we're going to like. I walked this street many a time when I was a toddler. I think I'll get up here about once now without being knackered. Flags, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It's really good. We didn't think of this through, did we? No. Did we have any... down on. Mm. <laughs> We've come out to the high street to try and book somewhere to eat for tonight because it just went out of our heads, to be honest, and we just didn't really think about it. We've and now we thought, big. ah, we haven't got nowhere to eat. No. So, um... You know, there is still COVID restrictions. We have got our own place where we're going to be staying, but... Yeah, don't really want to eat there, if I'm honest. No. You've got all these um, quaint little shops along here. Yeah. All bespoke sort of stuff. Mr. Baguette. If you're down, there's always McDonald's. Oh, I'd rather not though. The time is now five to three and the tide's come in. Oh, it looks nice. There's Isabella named after our niece. Got the harbour arm over there. I think we may try and grab a coffee from somewhere, you know. Maybe over there. It's a pub, but I'm sure they do coffees and things as well, so that'd be quite nice. But yeah, tides in and it looks lush. It's now Friday afternoon and we are at the Royal George. I was about to say, I'm glad you knew where we were, because I didn't know where we were. I only know because I'm reading it from the front of the pub. And we're on the hard stuff now. Coffee, I've got coffee. And I've got tea. Cheers everyone. The yard stuff. <laughs> we can't get into our room till four o'clock. No, we can't, can't get into our room till four o'clock and we do want to have any more to drink just now. So we're just sitting outside because the weather's beautiful, having a nice warm cup of coffee and tea. Where have we booked for later? What was the pub called? The British 
in I'm not British. sure it begin it's the British something or it's a pub and um, we've booked in for a we managed to get booked in for a meal because everywhere else seems to be fully booked but yeah it's quite nice isn't it yeah yeah nice it looks really nice inside so we're having a little wander and uh, we ain't got that big till about half past seven though so yeah, the so time we've got, we've got the, the room booked to meet for four o'clock yeah, so apparently we're, we're on floor eight and you can only get to floor eight by lift three only only so I'm not, sure what we're gonna get. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to get, but it should be good. And um, we'll show you the room, obviously, when we get into it. And for the meantime, we're just going to enjoy our coffee. Chill out, people watch. Nothing yes. wrong with a bit of people watch in the sunshine, is there? Especially when you've got sunglasses on. Quite interesting, really. But <laughs> So we'll see you when we get into our room. Just before we go, just opposite, I don't know if you can see it, but it's called the Chummers. I reckon that is quite Chummers. popular. Lots of people seem to be going across that huge horse today, didn't they? Yeah, it does actually. It looks quite nice. It's good. You never know, we might try that in the next couple of days because we're only here until Sunday. Only here till Sunday and then we jet back home again, but just a, a nice little breakaway home, eh? Jet back home, you wish. Jet back. Yeah, well, it feels like it. The sunshine's lovely. I know, it does feel almost... like we're on a different continent, I must admit. You could almost feel like we're on holiday. Sun shining, the you beach. You keep saying that, but guys, are we not on holiday? We are. It might, it's a mini break. It's a mini break. A mini break away. We are on holiday, but I mean, you know, we could. you could think that you were abroad. Yeah, you could think you were in the south of France, I reckon. The it's, way uh, it's been lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely lovely. It really has. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. He's going to enjoy his tea. And we'll catch up with you for a room tour, hopefully. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> See you later. This evening we're in the British Lion in Houston. We managed to get somewhere booked up for dinner. Yeah, you may remember earlier we weren't sure if we could find any place to get in. But we have made a reservation and we are in. And so far, yeah. I'm really enjoying the ambience. It's really nice. I'm not sure if you can hear us very well because it is a bit noisy. I'm going for a fish salad this evening. It sounds a bit lighter because I'm still full up from lunchtime. Yeah, lunchtime. Um, that's fine. Um, what have you got for? I've gone for the cheese plates. Something a bit lighter, really, rather than oh, yeah, having the chips. Oh, sorry, yeah. the Palmans. Yeah. Rather than having chips all the time and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I like? Yeah. Yeah. It's in some detail. You know, like, you get your little sauces. They've even got a little pair of scissors in there in case you're having problems opening them, which I usually do. Which is a bit strange because you don't normally get no, anything like that, do you? No, it's such a lovely place. a quick name. So that's where you come in from over there. There's the bar area. And there's another bit upstairs as well. And you can also go outside, but even look at these, look. These are just great. Just little things. It's just really homely. And on top of the bar as well, you've got lions as well, because it's called the British Lion. British Lion. And behind me, is that right? Yeah, right around the corner, even. Dinner is now served and it looks amazing. Look at this, guys. So, Dean's got the ploughman's. That looks yummy. You happy with that? Yeah, I am actually. It smells I didn't like gorgeous. With the bread, actually, I didn't know how it was. Yours looks really nice, actually. And I've got the seafood salad. It looks yummy. Portions are massive, aren't they? They are huge. Dean's just gone for a Guinness as well. I think he's honing in a bit of dad, isn't ya? Having a Guinness for me dad. I've had a couple of wines today. To be honest, it's a bit heavy sometimes when you drink too much beer. So I just like to have something a bit lighter. This one's for you, my old mate. So empty plates speak for themselves. Yeah. I really enjoyed mine. I had the um, the cheese pounders, and I'm glad I didn't go for the uh, the pie and the mash as well. I think it just would have been a bit too much for me, especially for today. Well, we had late lunch. Too, yeah, we did. So I don't think it would have gone down too great. So, but that was enough. I know some of Terry's and Terry had some of mine. Yeah, but we shared these. Well, Terry's one as well. Yeah, yeah, I did really well. Empty plate, salad. Dean practically licked his plate. <laughs> I don't know, there's a little bit of pickle still in there, but no, yeah, it was lovely. It was really nice. Even so much so, we're going to see if we can look at it tomorrow night. Yeah. 
we're going to try and see if we can book in. Um, so yeah, the British Lion in Folkestone. Mm. Yeah, thumbs up. And to be fair, they've had, I think, the table is fine. I've only seen two people um, serving, and that's the ones to be behind the bar. Serving everybody. Mm. Trying to rush around doing everything. Yeah, I've been watching. And they've been so accommodating, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, without, you know, on the service, they can apologise and help the rest to say they can't come over and do this and the other. And, you know, it's been lovely. Really have enjoyed the whole day. Mm -hmm. I found a pooch. Hello, Morris. Hello, darling. Oh, you're such a good boy. It's gonna make you famous. You are such a good boy. Oh. <laughs> Six years old, you said, didn't you? He's got some weight. Wait here, Oh, we've got some on our little puppy, though, haven't we? She's just got three. My stepson said, You sure this dog's only six? It's got the grey hairs, but I think it's just a bit. No, well, I was gonna say, our puppy's nine months and she's got three grey hairs on the back. They say she doesn't pull out grey hairs, doesn't Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just want to give you an outlook of the sea view from our room. Quite nice, isn't it? Lovely sea, the beach. What a way to wake up every morning. Never know, might happen one day. <laughs> oh, today, I'm going to go up this way because apparently it's quite nice on the other side bit. So we're going to have a wander up, see what we can see. Yeah, we had a bit of a, uh, a late night last night. We didn't get back until I think about 11 o'clock. We went to the went to a local pub, had some nice food, and was there for three hours talking to the owners and the locals. And Terry met a couple of dogs as well, so it was another another reason why we uh, we stayed there a bit longer. But no, it was a really nice evening. And because obviously with uh, the coronavirus and COVID, they've only just really getting themselves back on their feet again. And there was only two members of staff, and it was crazy. There's, they were running around like like anything. I'm still squinting, I don't know why, I think I've got a bit of suntan lotion in my eyes still. But, other than that, we will take you around today, uh, see what we can see, and uh, hopefully get a few more pictures and something nice to eat as well. So we'll catch you later. Dean just said that this looks like stealth. Not as high, obviously, but... <laughs> but yeah, it kind of does. Either that or part of the arc from McDonald's. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's just missing the other, the other arc. Oh, how pretty is this down here? Look at these old lamps. And all along here, because we're on Remembrance Avenue, these are all hand crocheted poppies. And it's must have taken people hours. And they've done quite well in the sun. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are faded, but it just shows you what great weather they have here in Folkestone. Here we are at the Lee's lifts. These aren't working anymore, but this is generally how you would have got from the top to the bottom, from the bottom to the top, on any given day, really. But unfortunately, it's in well need of repair and they are trying to raise funds. So if you'd like to contribute to them, there is a Facebook page for the Lee's lifts and you can contribute to it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see are the lifts there. Contra they're not called trams, are they? Or, I, I, it, I think I they call them, I just think it's called the Lee's lifts. It's amazing, you can still see the cogs in there, how it would have all worked, but just... Yeah, it just, they, they want to preserve it, they want to keep it, which I think they should do. But um, it needs a lot of money. All along here is wild flowers and it is on most of the coastal route on Folkestone because they're trying to help the bee population. There's signs up and about 
in certain places to say please leave the bees alone because we're trying to encourage them which is good we need bees that's really nice centenary memorial 1921 to 2021 hi everyone we're on Folkestone beach and today is absolutely heaving compared to yesterday it was so quiet but i keep forgetting it's now saturday isn't it it is saturday and it's heaving and we've been on the beach now for a couple of hours i think we both had a bit of a snooze and everyone's now panicking because the tide's coming in we just woke up it's probably and not that just... far away from us is it yeah no and if you look around how busy it is it's absolutely heaving. It's heaving and the tide is coming in so quick. I Everyone's think it'll be here with us in a matter of minutes, not even. It won't be long, will it? It won't be long. Oh, look, it's up to that little kiddie's tent thing. Oh my God, it's coming so quick. It's going, going, going. Or oh, coming, 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 should I say. how fast the tide's now coming in but this is how packed the beach used to be when we were kids it's lovely it does bring back memories sunny saturday in folkestone guess who's back back again <laughs> we've come back to the british lion um, we ate here last night, had a fantastic time, got on really well with the landlords and all the locals. And, and they um, managed to book us in for another night, didn't they? Yeah, they booked us in well. for another night. <laughs> that looks nice. Dean's just got his steak and kidney put in. Mm. You happy with that? I didn't think the vegetables would come out, and then she brought them out separately. Yeah, so. she brought them out separately, but that's nice. And I've gone for the old favourite what I had yesterday, because that was just blooming lovely. That looks really nice, actually. Inspiring interiors. Hogwarts. No, Diagon Alley. Oh, Diagon Alley, yeah. The loud and big. That's what um, Yvonne said her husband makes the bags. Oh, yeah, the uh, 28 pound. Oh, look at that one. Oh, bag at the back. <laughs> The next day. It's checkout day today. Mm, a bit sad for our mini stay cake. We stayed at the Grand Burst Inn right on the seafront of Folkestone. Um, it does need updating, but it's got something about it. There's a bit of charm. It's like stepping back in time. But to be fair, we only wanted somewhere to put our heads down, sleep. The room's clean. Um, yes, could do with updating, but. It did what it said on the tin. So I'm just going to give you a quick room tour. Unfortunately, we forgot to do it when we first arrived because we just wanted to get in, get out to that seafront. But I'm going to give you a quick tour now. But you'll see what I mean. It is a bit dated. Could do with a bit of up, updoing. But it's clean. It's tidy. Anyway, so here we go. As you walk in, you have the bathroom on your right. Toilet. Sink. It's all self-explanatory. We had a bath and a shower. And you 
have you, Terry? Okay, so there was quite a large amount of closet space, to be fair. There's an ironing board, and you get your iron. That was handy. Luggage storage there. Double bed, excuse the state of. But, you know, it was quite a decent room, all things considered. We had two chairs in here and a little table, TV, lots of drawer space. You had your kettle with your teas and coffees, all sanitised in pre-packs, same as your remote control. It's cleaned and put in a pack, specially for you. Um, I believe they're going to continue to do that, which is a really good thing, I feel. And then we come out onto the balcony. And we had a couple of chairs and we moved the table from inside to outside so we could have drinks out here and that. And this is our view, which Dean's probably showed you before anyway. Um, if you can see sort of like up to that church up there, that's where we had dinner at the British Lion. I only know that because we walked through the cemetery there and that's a beautiful church up there. Building work off down there. Oh, we've got a noisy pigeon on next door's balcony. But look at that. Breakfast is served. What did you go for? I went for the... Philly cheese mushrooms. Cheese mushrooms. Mm. I didn't expect it to be that big. And I've gone for Eggs Benedict and that looks yummy too. Empty plates speak for themselves. Demolished. Thoughts? Best mushrooms and toast I've had ever. Yeah, I've got to admit that was the best Eggs Benedict I've had for a long while as well. That was it's very nice. yummy. It's just the, the creaminess as well and the quality of the food. I can't fault any of the food that we've had here on Monday. I think it's big portions for such a good price. And it's just, I don't know. And it all tastes fresh, doesn't mm. it? It's all fresh food. It's not just your stick in the microwave stuff and spread it out and box mm -hmm. done. It's lovely. It's really nice. A bit of artwork. It's really nice. Yeah.